Hey folks, this is Gene from Regular Guy Mountain Biking, where we talk about all kinds of fun and cool things that have to do with mountain bikes. In this video, we're finally going to install my Cush Core uh, wheel inserts that I got from Cush Core, and I want to tell you all about them. So let's get started. Hey folks, once again, Gene from Regular Guy Mountain Biking. In this video, we're going to finally install our Cush Core wheel inserts that we got from Cush Core a little while back. So let's open up the box, I'll show you what's inside, and we'll start from there. Inside the box, I do think this is kind of cool over here. It says a uh, little, little, like they want you to really follow the instructions. Please, before you try it your way, watch the video and try it our way. Because they give you a nice instruction guide uh, to help you figure out how to install everything, which I will be following. Product-wise, they give you two proprietary uh, stems, okay? There is an actual stem that comes with the kit uh, because of the way the Cush Core insert goes inside of the rim. It does need to use a special uh, stem. So you get two of those. And then you get the actual Cush Core product. So this is a much heavier duty foam See if you can see me trying to squish this on the camera over here. Um, way more heavy duty foam than I thought it was going to be. It's, it's, it is definitely not a sponge. Very, very stiff. I can totally see now how this is going to help with um, protecting the rim. And I'm, I'm assuming, certainly hoping, help, helping, hope, hoping to help with cornering because it's going to stiffen those outer walls. Okay, so it's got a nice little... Um, uh, little put this in the camera little center channel right here and that's going to fit inside of the uh, the rim okay so you get two of these uh, got a nice little cush core sticker that's kind of cool and you know there's another one under oh you get actually you get a bunch of stickers cool I like the stickers oh, oh look specific stickers it actually will look nice on a rim gotta get some cool rims to put these on too Anyways, another one underneath here, so that's that's what's in the box. So before we start doing the install with the um, with the Cush Core product, I do want to talk about the tires I'm going to put on because I bought these specifically based on Adam's recommendation from Cush Core. Um, what I mean by that is Adam mentioned that because of the Cush Core product, I'm going to get better sidewall protection, and he had said, "Well, what you also now is you have the ability to buy a lighter tire." because you don't need as strong and stiff a tire, at least on the outside, because of the Cush Core product. So I went and I picked up some uh, uh, Vontridge XR4 Expert um, tires. We're gonna give them a whirl. Um, my bike shop basically said that they should be a lighter tire, so I'm hopefully gonna benefit from the lighter tire now, less weight, and it is gonna have a little bit of a thinner sidewall, but these, uh, this Cush Core product is supposed to help still support the tire. So we're gonna give that a test too. So Adam, I'm putting you on the spot over here and we're gonna see how this whole thing works out. So now it's time to go and take the wheels off the Remedy and um, you know get this installed. I've got the Cush Core wrap that installed the rim around the rim now. It is a tight fit like they said. I mean, you're gonna to have to stretch this thing to put it on. I just wanna let you know that ahead of time, but it's, it's supposed to be like that. Um, also, just so you know, and I wasn't sure about this, I did go and watch, they have an install video, I'll make sure, you know, I'll link to that, you really want to use the install video just to kind of make sure everything's cool. With the valve stem, you don't cut any of this away, you just lay this on top of the valve stem. That's what they said in the instructions, I mean that's what it showed in the instructions, they didn't actually say anything. So I would recommend that maybe, uh, you know, Cush Core, you do just let folks know that you don't cut it, you don't touch it, just lay the the foam on top of the valve stem. But this is solid. I mean, this stuff is, this is, this is really, really solid. Um, I am kind of dreading putting the tire on because I'm sure getting that bead in there is going to be a pain in the butt. But I can totally see how when I do get it done, uh, it's going to hold this thing in place. I also have to guess that when you squish the sealant in here, it's going to go right, right, right out of this. I'm just a little concerned how the sealant's going to get through here. Um, I'm not sure if you can see this or not, um, but right in here, I'll try to zoom into that, there are little cutaways. I'm not sure if I should have this cutaway in line 
with the valve stem. So when I spray this, you know, squirt, squirt the seal in there, it comes through that. I might line that up just to play it safe. I don't actually, you know, I don't know. It doesn't even go all the way through. So I don't think it's going to make a difference. I think this is more for packaging so it folds up. I don't know. I'm going to keep on going through the instructions and see how this works. All right, folks, we got the first one installed. Right, so let me go through a few, uh, um, few tips for you. Um, first thing to understand, this is a tough install. Okay. So if you are not used to installing, uh, tires, okay. You know, regular guy, regular guy, mountain biking. I want to always let you know what's going on. Um, if you're not used to installing tires, you might want to have your bike shop help you with this, especially if you're not used to, uh, working with a very tight bead, a very tight bead to pull over the rim. Um, this might be a little bit tough for you. Okay. Doesn't mean the end result isn't worth the work, but this is my job to make sure you know what you're getting into and what you're going to be up against when you're doing certain projects. So definitely a tough install, but that being said, 15 minutes, maybe 20, um, because I didn't know what I was getting into and what to expect. A couple things I learned. Number one, they recommend using a spray bottle with a little bit of soap in it. I should have done this from the start. You know, me, of course, I'm a guy, I know everything, which means I really know nothing. Um, I didn't think I'd need this because I've been putting on tires for years, some really, really hard ones with downhill bikes, and I've never needed something like this. This is a new thing to me, and I should have followed the instructions from the beginning and used the soapy water. It did help um, have everything slide in better. So use the soapy water, it'll make it easier. Next thing to understand. All right, I pulled out the big guns over here. I pulled out my, um, I got some Park metal, um, you know, tire irons and some Pedro's, these like big old ice cream scoop ones, okay? If you're expecting to put these things on with a couple little plastic ones you have in your bike bag, forget it. It's just not going to happen. You're going to break them, all right? Uh, if I was going to do this more often, and I don't know, the end result's pretty nice. It might be worth it. I would probably look into getting some of the, um, the different ones with, the plastic covered ends just to protect my rim a little bit because you're definitely working the rim. Okay, so I'm just, I want to let you know ahead of time. Don't expect to put these on with these little plastic ones you get uh, with a kit. It's, it ain't going to happen. Okay, so let's, let's, let's get all, the, uh, all that. Next thing, um, when you put these on, you want to continue to work the tire into the bead, into the center channel of the rim. It says to do this in the instructions, but you definitely want to keep working it, working it working it in there because with the tire at the inner port innermost part of the rim okay you got it, it, it makes it easier to put on in general so just 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 trust me on it okay you want to keep working it so that's that's the install it's, it's a bit of a challenging install but at the end I, I don't know how to I'm gonna to try to show you this in fact let me turn this camera on okay I, I want to show you this I mean like this is this this outer part is so so stiff now I mean, like you, you, I, I cannot push my finger all the way down to even get to the rim now. It is so stiff. Okay. That's huge. So forget about the whole install part because that's done once. Now you're done. The end result, I'm liking what I've got here. I am definitely seeing how you could be confident about rim protection. I see how the sidewalls are stiffer now for cornering. So initial I feel the product's definitely doing its job. I'm gonna go and get the rear one put on. I'll put the sealant in. The rest of it's just normal, normal tires. I'm not gonna record that. It's just it's regular stuff. I am gonna be doing a bunch of riding, so I'm gonna review that and let you know how things are going. But that's how the install went with these um, with these Kush cores. Okay, just want to let you know I like what I've got so far, and I'm gonna do a follow up to this with the actual ride and let you know how it goes.